Hey, what's going on guys? Coming key in the year. So a couple of days ago I've been thinking about whether it's possible to take a PGN game, a game of chess in the PGN format, uh, as an input, the Python script, and get the video uh, showcasing that uh, game as an output. So in this video we'll come up with a script that does the trick basically. And the depends the, the dependencies we're gonna be relying on are the following. So uh, the the rendered frame itself is gonna be completely relying on Pine Game. And we're gonna be using OpenCV uh, and some couple more tri tricks to basically record the video stream. And all this uh, research I've been making, uh, I've made so far, uh, has started from this stack overflow question, like how to convert Pine Game image to OpenCV image. And as far as there is no way of directly uh, recording the output of the Pine Game window, of the Pygame Pi uh, Pi camera, uh, here is the workaround to get a single frame uh, from the Pi game. And so like when we do this infinite loop within the Pi game, and then we can just transpose the content and convert it from RGB to BGR, like to make it compatible with the uh, OpenCV. And then this kind of image can be treated as the frame uh, in the video that we can write to the stream and get done with this. So the, this is the core part of the entire mm, kind of code that we're going to be using. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be uh, writing a single line of code here, just taking one from there, one from here, and so on. And there, were, there, there won't be much, there, there, there won't be a lot of code here. But I just, I would rather, I would rather like to emphasize the concepts that we're going to be using here. So in order to uh, avoid reinventing the wheel, uh, I'm gonna be relying on this uh, chess board, uh, which is the Pi game ga a Pi game based board, allowing us to uh, take the FEN string as an input and uh, and render the flir and render the frame as an output. So we'll then use uh, we'll then use uh, Python chess library to read the game from the PGN and convert the entire game into the list of FEN strings. And then we're going to be sourcing those FPN strings to here to Pygame to this library, and then we'll write. Uh, then we we'll, would we'll, we'll be extracting the video frame using this lines of code, and eventually write to the video stream using uh, this tiny little tutorial that I made, like simple desktop desk, desktop recorder that I've been making uh, before, like on on another and kind of like again channel the channel but anyway without further ado let's actually start so here i have the current working directory i just want to create a new document let's go i call it cvm.py which stands for chess video maker uh, in here uh i want to i want to define what this is going to be doing so let's say pgn to avi converter or converter yeah uh, like this. I think this is fairly enough to call it like this, right? And let's kick start with the chess board library. So in order to install the library, just copy this, uh, this this path, uh, not the path, this command. So I just open the terminal in the current working directory. We'll we'll need this later on. So Python three cvm .py to run this. Not running at the moment, though. So I just say sudo pip3 in my case because I have uh, two Pythons on my Linux system and install. And obviously I already have, excuse me, obviously I already have this data installed. I do a system wide, you can do this in the virtual environment if you like, if you will. But anyway, so here I have the, re the requirement has already been satisfied, which is, which is great, which means that from now on I can use this this kind of example from here so i just copy copy the example and just paste paste this directly in uh, without diving much into the source code what it does it just takes fn string and display this in sort of an infinite mode the library itself doesn't seem to be working that perfectly well but anyway just to give you an idea so if i just run the script uh you see like we got a window uh yeah just I'm not, I'm not even, sh even sure why the window can be dragged, basically. But anyway, this kind of works for our particular purpose, which is fairly enough. It doesn't even get enclosed here, so just use Control C to interrupt uh, the execution. But uh, when it comes, when it 
goes to this to its initial to its complete eventual state that doesn't doesn't matter anymore basically so uh the next thing i want to consider is to grab the game so i just take this one copy uh and paste the game here so just to give an idea in regards to the game itself so here we have uh standard PG, the standard game in pgn format so the next thing we need to consider here is to take is to parse this this kind of guy here and turn it into the list of fe instruments so let's go for this without further ado so i'm going to pgn parse in parts so we need to import chas.pgn i'm doing this right over down below and then uh to open the pgn just grab this line uh and i can actually yeah so let's say packages here so here uh load uh pgn uh load game from pgn file so well, actually not exactly uh loading the game from pgn but anyway uh yeah first game well actually yeah mm. Let's say load, uh, let's say just load pgn file. Here we want to get the, get the first game. Well, just the specifics of the pgn library on its own. So let's just call it game equals to just pgn read. All right, so far so good. You know this tiny little loop here um yeah we need to create a board um yeah, let's make it so here we want to extract fen strings uh let's say yeah it's actually that's okay extract fen strings from pgn uh game uh from a game right so uh here we just do create the port instance which is uh well even even like this should be fine so if i just say like um create chess board instance so this is by uh, this is python chess specific line of code um well actually nope <laughs> i'm sorry uh no what what do i what have i done yeah get the first game yeah first game board it's just not the first game but just the game board so i, I don't want to go for this loop for a while uh i don't want this position as well any longer and uh we're not gonna be pushed yeah so we we do need to push this but here just want to say print uh and actually i want to make this before uh print board.fen and let's run this again so well, well no such file file directory oh so obviously so we need uh, i need to adjust the path probably i should have say like pgn close later on but yeah this uh, uh, the, this tiny little memory leak that potentially might be here it's not a, that big deal at least we we have this in the documentation so i think it's just barely enough to make it like so okay um the first game is not defined because because uh, right where is the first game? yeah in game mainline moves yeah and we can get a list of fvns and this should start from the initial position which it is here so now we need to uh create the fens uh so list of positions from the game and here uh, let's just call it fens and yeah like it's actually it's not a constant so we can make it like this so fens and this is gonna be a list and, and here uh instead of uh print and things i just want to say fens.append and now if we print all the fens it should return a list 
containing all of the Sethian strings that we've just extracted from the game, which is great. So now, um, instead of going for this, uh, instead of going for this kind of infinite loop, instead we just loop over the uh, board position. So one to loop over board positions. So for FEN in FENs. In here, I just want to display those. So just cut this one from here. And uh, so here, uh, we actually want to update the position, update position. And that's pretty much all about it, basically. And then we'll need to provide a sort of a delay for this because otherwise it just be flashing kind of too fast. But anyway, um, so is this, yeah. So let's try to run this and see how it works. Okay, position is not defined, yeah, obviously, FEN. So yeah, it just goes a little bit too fast, but conceptually works nicely and it closes. So it's exactly what we're looking for, just apart from uh, recording what we've just seen on the screen to the video file, right? So here, uh, to make it uh, a bit uh, slower, so let's say for delay for delay in range um let's make it seven that's something that i came up i came up with uh, so let's, uh delay showing the delay position display the delay display in position Let's call it like this, the latest plane position, and here, um, update position. So now it's going to be uh, going a little bit slower. Let's have a look. So now this should be a little bit slower. It's still too fast uh, when it gets displayed, but in the video on its own, it's more like the matter of the frame rate, like the bigger the frame rate. Um, the slower it goes, the less frames we have, the faster it goes. It's quite pretty the same. But anyway, the idea is that we have this surface, right? We have the surface being displayed. So now, uh, all we need to do, we need to convert this to to OpenCV surface. And here is where this part of code is helpful. So let's just copy this part here. And without changing much, I just want to say, so instead of view, just call it a frame. And this surface to draw is interesting one. So to get the actual surface, we can say pygame uh, dot display. And I'm not sure, get surface if I'm not mistaken. Get surface should be working. And I also need to import the pygame. Import pygame. Well, now see if this kind of works or not, so just hold on a little bit. Uh, yeah, so this conversions, uh, so here frame is going to be frame transpose, and here frame, frame. We're not even going to be displaying this frame at the moment because there is no much need for that, just, just the duplicating stuff and it doesn't doesn't work that nicely to demonstrate. So I just just try to run it to make sure there is no error current. Okay, CV2 is not defined, so let's import the CV2 as well. So I just want to import CV2. And just to make sure it still kind of works. And it does. All right, so now by the time it goes, I just abandon this for a while. And now um, here is the major part for actually streaming the video. So we need to copy this video writer and video writer for CC into the packages. So just bring these guys in. And just to make it a little bit, I don't know, maybe like this should be fine. Or even just want to code looking a little bit prettier. Okay, um, so we want to create the video stream here. And here is an important point. Here is the important, por uh, important point because, um, well, first of all, let's, let's call it game, game AVI. 
and this should be 600 by 600 because that's the exact size of the video that we're going to be producing that's the exact size of the pie game surface we're working with here so how, how do i know that well mostly uh, by the trial and error method but uh if you actually go to the project repository i'm not sure i'm not sure where can we um Oh, this is the other, by the way. Yeah, this this guy is really nice. Um, not sure where exactly. Um, homepage. Where is that basically? Yeah, here it is. So here, um, we have the constants, and here we have the window height and window width. So we we can actually try to uh, we can try to do a little bit more fancy way. So if I just say from chessboard uh, import constants in here, I just want to print constants in window width and window height. Uh, I didn't try this before, to be honest, but this kind of should work. In window height. Just just want to demonstrate you this. Uh, can import constants. Um, it's a little bit. It's, it didn't make a typo or board import constant I'm not, I'm not not even sure why cannot import this does allow to import the display though but doesn't allow importing the constants um, let's try then um, let's try then from chessboard constants import let's start with import all first yeah it doesn't see this module for a while uh, for, for some reason um, well let's go then for so Python 3.6 should be in hold on a sec it should be the file system user local uh, include python pi game nope not here then where right here it is um so oh it doesn't have the constants here that's interesting so it's probably a sort of a previous version so uh, is this bundled into the display itself? Yeah, it's the source code. Oh, okay, window width, window height is available along with the display. So this guy's uh, copy. Yeah, if, uh, yeah, just uh, the source code of the actual package is a little bit different. So as far as we already have the display here, um, we can just try to print it this, this the following way. And I hope this, yeah, nope. Oh, window width. Oh, it probably should be aliased as display. Display like so. Again, like I, I could have just used 600s and 600s here and be happy with that, but just to make it a little bit more fancy. We, yeah, now we go. Here we go. So I uh, can't even stop this. So we have this 600s and 600s, which means that from now on I can just grab these values and the order it doesn't even matter here because they they are fairly the same so just bring it in like this and should be working as the same same way same, same way uh, the same way as before all right so one last thing one last thing we need here is the following so we have this video and um want to write the video frame so after we've generated the frame the actual frame so remember we took the pie game surface and converted this 
surface into the OpenCV kind of format for an image. And now we just write in this frame, right? And eventually, I want to say video release in the year. Um, nope, nope. Well, let's go step by step, basically. So release the video stream and here I want to terminate, uh, I want to terminate, close the window. Yeah, I want to close the window. So at the moment, uh, we should be fairly done with this sort of script. So we should now, let me just have a look. Oh, why do I already have this game AVI? It shouldn't be, um, um, sorry, it's not exactly what I've been looking for. So we need this one. Yeah, uh, this this is some crap. I don't need it. All right, so yeah, now let's go one more time. So I run the script and it creates the video, um, kind of video file. And now the difference is that well, if I did everything properly, then every single frame uh, we see on the screen, not every single move, but every single frame, because they're kind of I'm not sure how many frames per single move because I'm not sure what's the initial frame rate of this uh, chessboard library but anyway uh, the idea is that whatever we currently see on this Pygame output window or this Pygame camera window every frame that has been captured uh, would be recorded to the stream and that means that whatever picture we see here later on if we want to improve the app for instance then whatever we can see here should be then available within the video. So let's have a look if it works. And hopefully, yeah, so we got a video. So that's that's the speed. So if you want to change the speed of how fast uh, the game is going on, in order to do that, you can just, just pause the video for a while. So in order to do that, basically, all you need to do is, oh, it just still, still, still runs. So all you need to do is to change this value. So uh, display is the delay displaying position literally. So change accordingly this one. Um, uh, so I don't know, probably I should have provide constant for that. I don't know, but yeah, it's actually it's fine like this. So if you make this like say five, it would be going faster. If you make it ten, it would be it would be going slower. So I hope that's self-explanatory. So now let's enjoy the game until kind of the very end here. And I'm not sure, yeah, no, no, it goes. So let's have a look. And we got the video. So this is the AVI format. Uh, it does use some sort of a codec. I'm not sure which codec in particular. It's some some type of MP4 at some point. I'm not sure which one in particular and how exactly this goes. So I've grabbed the code from the for the video recording from some, somewhat a sample. Back in the day when I was making my tutorial on how to record the screen using Python and OpenCV and PyOdo GUI to capture the frames basically, which wasn't working that perfectly well, but conceptually kind of worked. And yeah, um, so now we have the video and whatever game we've played uh, after running through this script results in creating this like video so that you can watch the game you've played or uh, watch the game that you want to study, for instance. You can watch the, this game in this kind of like fin fancy way of just the matter of watching the single video. And yeah, that's pretty much all about this this kind of tutorial. Okay, so let's just wait until it gets to the three full repetition and here we should be done. Okay, and we're done. This is it from my side guys. Thanks for watching. Until the next time and take care.